Happy LGBTQ plus history month. Lesbian history month was in March. Nobody said a goddamn thing. Of course, lesbians get a month and we get a week. This is the perfect time for you to educate yourself on the LGBTQ plus experience, but also to learn about its long history. And to get you started, we have put together the top 10 most essential queer movies of all time. These are also in no particular order, so comment below on what order you think they should be in and get your notebook ready because these are some popcorn classics. First up, we have Wizard of Oz. Such as the power of this 1939 classic, the images and phrases from the film have become synonymous with gay culture. For example, a friend of Dorothy has been slang for gay men for years. Some chalk this up to Judy Garland being beloved of gay men everywhere. Others have said that it's actually from the Oz books, which has the line, you have some queer friends, Dorothy. Over the Rainbow is arguably one of the most important songs in gay culture. Let us not forget the rainbow, an important part of the fabric of pride. So this Technicolor all singing ruby slippered land of Oz is definitely a safe way to spend your LGBT history month. Next up, we have Paris is Burning. This is sacred text in queer culture. This documentary from 1990 is a snapshot of the New York ballroom scene, and it is at a very specific time, ravaged by AIDS, poverty, racism, and poor healthcare. But it's glittering and stressing for all it's worth, and it's worth the watch. Then we have Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Now, if the image of three drag queens in the Australian outback hitting the open road in a silver bus with a giant stiletto on top of the roof it doesn't deserve a place in the queer canon i don't know what does also anyone that thinks that the trans issue is a recent addition to the culture wars needs to track this movie down and put it on then we have blue is the warmest color there is a lot to love about this french indie movie this coming of age tale is full of passion intensity and unpredictability it'll take you on a journey i promise add it to the list then we have, but I'm a cheerleader. Honey, we think you're a lesbian. This is made in the golden age of high school comedy. This super camp and super sweet take on conversion therapy also stars LGBTQ royalty, RuPaul Charles. I myself was once a gay. Now I'm an ex-gay Megan. You can't go wrong, it's just an absolute cult classic. Then we have Brokeback Mountain. It's probably not a surprise to see this on the top 10 list, but Ang Lee's quiet masterpiece of a stoic bisexual cowboy love story just definitely deserves a place. Also, fun trivia, both Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal were advised to pass on the script due to the perceived stigma of playing a gay man on screen, but they both ignored the advice, thankfully. Oh, it moved me, the script moved me, and I was like, yeah, fuck it. Then we have Pride. This is just such a lovely movie, a very British, a very Welsh, very left-wing true story about a group of gay Londoners who raised money for this Welsh town that got mixed up in the 1984 miners' strike. Then we have Call Me By Your Name. This is a tale of teenage lust, awakening sexuality, and it has a lovely carefree vibe to it, which is rare. Also, the script is very considerate, super poetic, and the movie itself actually feels like a holiday. Then we have the recent Oscar nominated movie, Everything Everywhere All At Once. This movie isn't just about Chinese immigrant Evelyn traveling through the multiverse to save a billion worlds, but it's ultimately at its heart about accepting her gay daughter. It's just a movie with lots of other things like fighting with dildos and having sausages for fingers. Oh, and Joy's entrance with pink hair in the Elvis suit. Definitely camp. And finally, Bros, arguably the first proper mainstream film about gay romance. And it's funny, it's filthy, and it's very, very likeable. So that's our top 10, but which ones did we miss? Let us know in the comments below and give us a follow if you like this content. I'm Eliza Pitkin and this is The Big Issue.